No, no, no. This one's mine. All yeah. right. I'm executing this son of a... Hey! That's not how we do things down town! Code SM-1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM-1. Code SM-1. Holding for orders. Copy code SM-1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverburn. Nice entrance. Solid 8 out of 10. Nine out of ten. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International, a private security force, paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. <laughs> hey, sorry about that Sable thing. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's... E Here, an unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this. And what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborne. Missed another call from Doc. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? <laughs> Me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No. Why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to.
I should check out Lee's office. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. May said you were at the bombing. I was praying for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Hmm. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. I don't feel safe anymore. Maybe there's a vent somewhere. Huh. Never seen that room before. There. Lee's office is the other way. room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. I thought Lee's parents abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who... Th this is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. Lee's journal. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. Lee sounds conflicted. Almost... Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. Oh, I see. What are you hiding, Lee? Can feel my power growing, feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance, but he could never under. Creepy. This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Phew. It's a burn room. Wired to destroy evidence. One more. Police had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric and. Okay, through the floor grate.
Now, how do I get out of here? Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. You get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Wait, wait, wait! Captain Watanabe. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Thunder snap time. Can't have the ones inside feeling left out. Going down. MJ, I'm at the first location on your list, and guess what I found? Demons? Give the lady a prize. See if you can figure out what they're up to while I introduce myself. Oh, 
Sleep it off. for Chinatown shops. What they're importing is not something I want as a memento. Drugs? Demons. Looks like they bring in their buddies in shipping containers. Explains how foreign nationals with criminal records are getting into the country. <laughs> You guys look mad. I admit, I used all my good quips on the others, but I don't mind repeating myself. and you just kind of want to go home. MJ, call the police. All the demons are incapacitated. Don't forget to bring me a souvenir.
Hey, Yuri, I'm gonna keep checking into Devil's Breath. Need to find out why Lee wants it. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey. Just checking in. Peter, hey. Can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah. See ya. Dinner? <sighs> what should I cook? Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news! Come by the lab! Uh, like, now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Uh, be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Guess I can stop by. Just for a minute. Today we have a very special caller, breaking important news right here, because where else? Mayor Osborne, thanks for calling in. No, thank you, Jonah. When you were publishing the Bugle, you were always fair to me. Tom, sure, but fair. Well, that's my job, Mr. Mayor. All I have is my integrity, and I won't compromise it for anyone. Now, what's this crucial breaking news you're revealing for the first time anywhere on my show? Well, after the brutal, cowardly city hall bombing that almost claimed my life, it's clear our understaffed police department needs help. And I want to reassure the people of New York that I am providing it. Aha! I said it! You all heard me say we needed this. Are you using my idea of bringing in cops from Lake Placid? Ah, no. Though that was a fine idea. No. This would be a security contractor, much like the ones our military uses to assist our troops overseas. I can't name it until the contracts are signed, but their qualifications are impeccable. Well, that sounds terrific, Mr. Mayor. Though, of course, I'm... Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. We really need to... Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know... Until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it.
Ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. Uh, add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Missed a call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that?
Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. No expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. Hi! We can fight or, hear me out, we can barbecue! Whew, getting brisk out here. Better go in. I have to tell you, Triple J, I used to think you were exaggerating the danger to the city, but after the city hall bombing, I gotta admit, you were right. A lot of people have been telling me that. I said no more City Hall, and I meant it. The demons are down. Time for the bomb. Don't think about the block of C4. This is wired too. Disarmed. Damn. Dead man's switch. The other bombs are armed. Need to disable them before they explode. Thanks for that, Spider-Man. We'll think... You got it, officer. Always ready to do my part. Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. We can fight, or hear me out. We could barbecue. Whew, getting brisk out here. Better go in. And without further ado. MJ, I'm at location number two. Can you believe these demons wear their masks just like walking around? Must make for confusing staff meetings. I'll try to figure out their operation.
attention while you throw a wrench into it. Sweet dreams. Change, huh? Good, because these other guys not impressing me. Peter, that place is supposed to be bespoke furniture manufacturer. From what I can see, it's more like illegal weapons. And this might come as a shock, but I don't think they're really bespoke. The hipster assassins are going to be so disappointed. <laughs> It's not that I'm not glad to see more of you. It's... Oh, no, wait. It is that I'm not glad to see more of you. with some fruit pies. MJ, call the police. I've got the place secured. Nice job. Anytime we can get guns off the street, it's a win.
stable control. What's our situation in Nomad? Traffic control point Charlie taking fire from demons. I got an interesting tip today. Remember that barbaric beast named the Rhino? Apparently last night he almost escaped from his cell in the raft. How, you ask? Well, no one there seems to know, but they assure me he's been relocated to a more secure cell. Now, I'm no expert on Supermax prisons, but isn't the whole point of them that there isn't anything else Peter, you are not going to believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. <sighs> MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Almost shot a rat. Need to get this guy out of my way. Martin Lee's really paying the boss? Yeah. We build this war beast for Lee. Lee finances the boss's new venture. Win-win. Well, you better clean this leg off over that sloppy well. This boss guy. sees that, he'll be pissed. that yo Rick boss wants to talk to you get in here need to get into that office so what's the boss doing with the money from this lead job what are they building is this careful grave dust oh, man that all their cash is going straight into grave dust you tried it yet oh, easy sense. does it boss is still perfecting the recipe oh, man it's got a kick what kind of vehicle needs tires this big Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Wait! Where is it? I swear I left it over here.
Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? Hey, when do we get a new recip saw? Hey, anyone pick up more beer after our last run? Saw something. Wait. Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? Hey, I heard something. Hey, when do we get a new recip saw? What is this? Some kind of office must be to my right. Awesome. Need to move Good careful idea. through here. Wait! Must be to my right. Need to move careful through here. Yo, man. Why's the boss being so intense about putting GPS trackers on everything? Those barrels seem important. What's in these? Boss, come on! We'll never notice! Tombstone. You're right, Rick. Uh, won't notice? Because uh, it won't be there. God damn it! I said I'll fix it! You got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. Such a disappointment. <laughs> and now I need a new welder. Can't turn back now. Need to get into that office. This is what they're building for Lee. Here we go. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You are never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were... Pretty happy when we broke up. 
<laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves devil's breath, whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. So I was thinking, what if we teamed up? What, what, you want to be my sidekick? Like a spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Ah. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did... Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Ah. Uh... Where do you want me to, uh... Just the couch is fine. <laughs> yeah. See you later? Yeah. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Cause it sure feels like we are. Partners! Uh, sounds good! Okay. See ya, partner. It started, folks. I'm getting word of a serious increase in the drug trade in our fair city. And it's not the demons or Wilson Fisk's former people. Criminals across the board are getting bolder. Just as I predicted, the rats are cro- Police look like they could use some help. I'm in Puja Houston. Thanks for the assist, Spider-Man. There's probably more of them inside. You guys...
Somebody was in a hurry. Spider-Man! You're hurt. I'm okay. But you gotta find Mr. Standish, fast. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. He lives in the penthouse, top floor. Okay, sit tight. So glad you're here. I can't find my car. I could have sworn I parked on this level. You guys work here too? This building is serious about parking enforcement. Fight! A for effort! That elevator won't work. They know I'm here. But maybe I can sneak up through the elevator shaft. Should be able to make it up to the penthouse from here. If I get closer, I can take him out. Okay, almost there. Stay out of the light. Nice and easy. Firebombs? Seriously? Move! Uh oh, not good. There's Standish. Okay, now what? Enter your password.
He sounds nervous. Maybe I should take him out. Sleep it off. You literally didn't see that coming. Yeah, I'll be honest, that one looks better broken. Need to clear the. Okay, all clear. Hope Standish is alright. Let's try this again. It's safe now. What were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years, but he keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information on a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I, I honestly don't know. Down! <laughs> Come on, come on! Wait, the elevator! <laughs> <laughs> Okay? Yeah. I think so. Good. Good. You know, as elevator shafts go, this is pretty nice. Hey, Yuri. You okay? Yeah, but I didn't get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right. Whatever the hell that is. I'm working on that. I think I just got a lead. You sound like a cop. Don't you mean... Spider Cop? Uh, Yuri? That's fine. Peter, what happened with Standish? He's safe. Okay, good. And the demons? They were looking for a name. You got a pen? Yeah, go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. 
Who is he? What's his deal? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget... You left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius's lab. Let you know what I find on Delaney. Ground teams, this is Control. Boss wants an update on the theater district. Over. Demons are firing on our APC. Not getting much coverage. I should look for more towers to activate. A pigeon. Oh, come back, little birdie. Message from Doc. Sorry to call so late. My mind's bursting with ideas. We've been thinking too small, Peter. Why replace missing limbs with facsimiles when we can improve upon them? People who've lost an arm understandably want it back, but we can give them something better. The human body doesn't need to be our default. We can go so far beyond it. Just some thoughts to conjure with. Doc's really giving it both barrels. Hope he doesn't burn himself out. Hey, do you have time to check something out for me? So, we installed energy-saving LED billboards all around this area. This station monitors how they're performing. I'm just hoping it saves enough money that Oscorp keeps this program going. Typical. Oscorp ignored the specs and jacked up the voltage going into the billboards. If I don't fix it, they'll explode. People could get hurt. And it would definitely be the end of this station. I need to use my electric webs to shock the screens into shutting down. And I don't have long to do it. Definitely a target-rich environment. <laughs> Gotta hit each screen individually. Maybe someday there'll be a billboard of me that doesn't say menace on it. Phew. Now that the threat's passed, they can adjust the billboards properly. And they did save a lot of money, which seems to be Oscorp's priority, so I bet this station's in the clear. Do you have time to check something out for me? No, but if you ask nicely... Just got a call about a suspicious-looking box on a rooftop in Hell's Kitchen. I could call in the bomb squad, but if it's just some kid's science project... Yeah, I know. Budget crisis. Yada, yada, yada. So... <sighs> Will you... please check it out? There's the magic word. I hope it's some kid's science project. Man, I miss those days. 
School projects are so much easier than real life projects. Got it. This is Stable Control. Boss is requesting a status update on Sutton Place. Control, APC Bravo, engaging demon. The last boss. Those Sable guys might be able to handle this, but I can't take the chance. Hey, I'm not with those guys, but I'm still gonna kick your butt. The demons are getting bold. Additional units requested immediately to contain multiple hostile vehicles. Perfect. Incident is active near Grand Central. Ooh, love that shot. Never finish this app. Okay, Pete. This lab has feeders to lure in birds and analyze their droppings. Yeah, that's right. I got an MBA to test bird poop. <laughs> Seriously, though, you probably know that birds carry diseases that affect people, and we need to make sure they're healthy. You know, I really wish I was there to hear your finest toilet humor on this one. Uh-oh. The pigeons are infected with a serious strain of avian flu. And it's already mutated to a form that can spread to humans. Okay, 
Harry's lab had everything I needed to make a vaccine. Gotta spread it fast, or the pigeons will be like rats with the bubonic plague. My best bet's dispersing it at three major migration points. Luckily, the station told me where they are. First migration point's in a park. Birds there should spread the vaccine to their buddies. Pigeons put up with me swinging through their territory, so I owe them a favor. I bet the Avengers never have bird poop missions. Here we go. The vaccine's airborne, so I'll just spray it into the trees. Okay, one down, two to go. The spray won't bother people or other animals, but it'll cure the pigeons. Or trigger the zombie pigeon apocalypse. Well, you're you weirding me out, man. And one more left. I wonder what Jameson will make of this. Spider-Man spreads chemtrails seems like a good bet. I like helping animals. They don't call me a menace or shoot at me or anything. I wonder if it'd be stretching things if I added veterinarian to my resume. Okay, that should work fast. I'd better scan some pigeons to make sure. That did it. No zombie pigeons. Nikola Tesla fed pigeons here. So did Harry's mom. I remember her bringing us. I wish I could tell Harry, but he's not answering calls, texts, anything. I love Central. photography. What's the situation at Grand Central? I wonder if King T'Challa got his powers from being bitten by a radioactive panther. Dude's tough. Attention unit. A truck carrying an armed explosive is evading pursuit. Officers needed near Turtle Bay. A group of terrorists assassinate American citizens in a bomb attack. How is it possible that instead of being wiped out of existence, these masked criminals 
are still at large and still striking at innocent people like Oscorp CFO Charles Standish in their own homes. How? You're on with Jay Jonah. Jameson. Yeah, uh, my cousin's a corrections officer, and he says the demons they've arrested aren't talking. They clam up, won't even speak to their lawyers. This underscores a concern I've had about these demons. They're not regular criminals. They might not even be ordinary terrorists, although they certainly commit terrorist acts. But it looks to me more and more like they're a cult. Are you kidding me? Those kind of people are out of their minds. They'll do anything. It's horrifying, isn't it? Does this mean that we have to live in fear? To be constantly looking over our shoulders? To expect an attack at any moment? My opinion, folks, the answer is... Yes. Heard about that The enemy of my enemy is probably also my enemy. Hey, rooftops are for barbecues, not firefights. <laughs> Look of appreciation on the Sable guys is all the reward I need. This is Sable Control. Do we have an update on the situation in Clinton? Demons are firing on TCP Bravo. Need backup. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants, before they reach toxic. 